It's funny. Who has photographs anymore, right? For Behan Maybach, pictures are the reminder she needs of her time surviving, then rescuing others in the 1999 earthquake in Turkey. And I hadn't looked at them for a very long time. But it's the old photos that help tell a new story. Because people are in dire condition. That's Gurgan Titis, Behan's nephew, who survived the recent quake in Turkey and decided to help. So yeah, there was a, this field hospital um, for the patients that were affected by the earthquake. What was the hardest thing for you? I'm just curious. We saw a 14-year-old kid rescued from the rubble. Seeing him uh, trying to speak and he, he was really deprived of water and food. Uh, it was kind, kind of hard to just contain all, all of your emotions and stay focused while being persons affected. How this affects everyone is different. For Behan, it's hard. I'm, of course, proud of him, but... Not to get emotional about it. Hey, this is not about us, really. It's... It's about those people. Ezgi Karasozin would agree it's not about her. Turkey's home. But it's about what she and others can do to help their home country. Ezgi is a seismologist. She studies earthquakes for a living. I mean, I've been studying these for like, you know, more than a decade now. And I still couldn't um, help prevent this. That's the powerlessness that I'm, I'm still feeling. These two hope sharing their stories will help others remember what has happened and what is yet to come. Make sure that we, we won't forget and then keep helping. Jalisa Rosari, Nine News. Behan and Exe are part of the Turkish American Cultural Society of Colorado. They're hosting a fundraiser next Saturday to support earthquake relief. And we've got more information about that on our website. If you're interested, just click on the link to this story.